The 2001 Polish parliamentary election was held on 23 September 2001 to elect deputies to both houses of the National Assembly. The election concluded with an overwhelming victory for the centre-left Democratic Left Alliance A Circumflex Labour Union, the electoral coalition between both the Democratic Left Alliance and the Labour Union, which captured 41% of the vote in the crucial lower house sedge. The 2001 election is recognised as marking the emergence of both civic platform on law and justice as players in Polish politics while also witnessing the outright collapse of the Solidarity Electoral Action and its former coalition partner, the Freedom Union. Voter turnout for the 2001 election was 46.29% for this election only. List seats were allocated using the St. LAGU 8 old left double angle bracket method instead of the Dund method. At the end of its four-year term, the ruling Oz government of Prime Minister Jerzy Buzik faced bleak prospects for the September parliamentary election. In the previous presidential election in 2000, the SLD's Alexander Kwaniewski achieved a landslide re-election over Oz candidate Marian Kzakluski. Economically, Polish consumer confidence dropped to its lowest since the mid-1990s, with unemployment rising above 16%. Politically, the Buzik government faced a series of crises undermining its credibility. In May 2000, the Oz Junior Coalition partner, the Freedom Union, walked out of the government regarding the party's objections to the slow pace of reform, forcing Buzik to set up a relatively weak minority government in its place. Later in July 2001, Music's government was again hit by three further ministerial resignations over corruption charges, while the government's reform program for pensions and healthcare grounded to a halt in the SEDM. In light of Music's besieged administration, opposition parties took advantage of Orr's organizational and economic weaknesses. From the center left, a political coalition between the Democratic Left Alliance and the Labour Union, headed by Leszek Miller, appeared as the ruling government's most formidable, united and vocal opposition. On the centre-right, Solidarity's traditional spectrum of support increasingly became divided by the emergence of new political groups. Civic Platform, composed of former Raws and Double members, repeated calls for a low flat rate income tax, and a culling of bureaucracy to attract investment. Further down the right, the Law and Justice Party, composed of Oz more conservative and anti-communist adherents, campaigned on promises of tough anti-corruption and organized crime legislation. The campaign leading up to the September election was marred by voter antipathy due to the summer holidays, as well as being marginalized by the September 11 attacks in the United States. The SLD triumphed in the final tally, receiving 41% of the vote the sigh of an outright parliamentary majority in the SEDM. The party increased its representation by 52 seats, earning it 216 representatives, and returned to the chancellery after a four-year period of sitting in opposition. Partly due to the fractious nature of its opponents, the SLD secured pluralities in all of Poland's voivodeships as well as in an overwhelming majority of the nation's powiats. On the centre-right, Civic Platform entered the Parliament for the first time, coming in second place with nearly 13% of the vote. The party stood relatively strong in Pomeranian voivodeship. Surprisingly, ultra-nationalist parties performed well in the election's final results. The left-wing nationalist self-defence of the Republic of Poland increased its vote 100-fold from the 1997 election securing 53 seats and 10% of the vote, coming in third place. Headed by populist Anzic Lepper, the party campaigned against Warsaw excess and Poland's ongoing negotiations, to enter the European Union. On the far right, the League of Polish Families which campaigned on a staunchly Catholic and anti-EU platform also entered the SEDM for the first time, gaining 38 seats and 8% of the vote.